Are you wondering what the best cheap vlogging camera is for this year? If so, stay tuned, because by the end of this short video, you'll know exactly which one to choose. 5 Best Vlogging Cameras for People on a Budget on the Market This list was made based on our personal views and are listed based on price, quality, durability, and more. To see prices and get more info about the product shown, be sure to check out the description below. Okay, so let's get started with today's video. At number 5 is the Canon PowerShot SX740. If you're after a travel vlogging camera that's got all the zoom you could ever want but don't eat into your baggage allowance, the PowerShot SX740HS is worth considering. Design-wise, it's small enough to be an anywhere and everywhere companion. This little SX740 camera measures 4.3 by 2.5 by 1.6 inches and weighs a mere 10.5 ounces with battery and SD card installed. Although not as slender as a smartphone, the SX740HS fits easily into most pockets. This all-metal camera looks and feels solidly built. A textured grip and thumb rest provide a good handhold. The dials and buttons work smoothly too. Overall, this camera is quite well constructed, especially for the price. By the way, to get the latest prices for any of the products listed today, check the comments below where we have links for your convenience. Back to this camera. Thanks to the 180-degree tilting 3-inch LCD, the monitor can be flipped up for selfies. This design is also perfect for vloggers who want to video themselves when hand-holding the camera or mounting it on a tripod. The LCD is bright and clear and thanks to its tiltability, it can be used for more readily capturing overhead or low-to-the-ground images. As for performance, the 40x optical zoom and image stabilization feature make it easy to capture clear vivid images from far away. Plus, you can record video content in super high-definition 4K 30p. Beautiful time-lapse videos can also be easily created in 4K with the time-lapse movie mode, perfect for those stunning edits. 4K frame cropping lets you grab high-quality still images from your video in-camera without needing additional software. It's worth mentioning the maximum sensitivity of ISO 3200 is low by current standards, but Canon's optical image stabilization does help maintain compensate for this and does a good job of ironing out camera shape. The camera offers both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity for fast and cord-free image exporting. However, the memory card is sold separately. To conclude, the compact MegaZoom Canon SX740HS 24-960mm offers a good balance of simplicity and ease of use, along with multiple exposure controls and an extremely versatile zoom lens that will help expand your picture-taking capabilities whilst on any adventure you may be tackling. It's one we highly recommend you check out. At number 4 is the Nikon Coolpix A1000. The Nikon Coolpix A1000 will impress beginners and vlogging enthusiasts alike with its powerful zoom lens and slimline ergonomic body. Let's take a look. The Nikon A1000 touts more than just a zoom that a smartphone can compete with. The camera is packed with physical controls and design features that are tough to find on budget cameras. The controls feel more like a mirrorless camera than a point-and-shoot. Despite the abundance of controls, the A1000 weighs in at a light 11.7 ounces. At 1.6 inches deep and 4.5 inches tall, the camera can slide into most coat or cargo pockets. The 3-inch 1036K dot tilting touchscreen LCD monitor tilts up and down. It can face forward for selfies by swinging under the camera. The pop-up flash is useful for indoor shots and to fill in shadows in backlit scenes. The battery and single memory card slot is housed in the same compartment at the bottom of the camera, but far enough away from the tripod mount that many quick-release plates won't block access. Both HDMI and micro-USB ports are included, while Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are built in for wireless sharing. Looking at performance, it has a high-resolution 16-megapixel 1-2.3 BSI CMOS sensor, which provides impressive image quality with enhanced sensitivity, from ISO 100 to 6400 to benefit working in difficult lighting conditions you may face while out vlogging. The A1000 is ultra-portable and comes with a super telephoto Nikkor glass lens with a whopping 70x dynamic fine zoom that helps you capture distant subjects in staggering detail with brilliant image quality in nearly any light. In addition to stills recording, UHD 4K video recording is supported at 30p, as well as full HD recording up to 60p. For steadying recordings, hybrid vibration reduction can be used to suppress the effects of camera shake that occur while moving when recording. Overall, if you're looking for a budget vlogging camera with a flip camera with optical zoom range and 4K video, then the Nikon A1000 could be a great choice. At number 3 is the DJI Osmo Action Cam Digital Camera. 
The DJI Osmo Action is a rugged 4K action camera designed with vloggers in mind. The front-facing screen makes it unique among action cameras, and it stands up well against the competition. Build-wise, the Osmo Action feels solid and sturdy with its metallic frame and rubberized top and sides. It's water-resistant to a depth of 11 meters, drop-resistant from a height of 1.5 meters, and resistant to temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius. In truth, this camera really does look like a GoPro Hero 7, but sharp-eyed ones will be able to tell them apart from the front display. While the Hero 7's front display is used for displaying information, the Osmo Action's display works as a real-time viewfinder, which makes it easy to take selfie photos or videos. This makes it ideal for video bloggers. In addition, its 2.25-inch rear touchscreen display lets you easily swipe through the menu interface to change settings, even when the display or your hands are wet. Plus, we like the Osmo Action can also be activated by voice control, making essential functions like filming, capturing photos, and powering down the device effortless. The package includes a mounting frame, a USB Type-C cable, a quick-release base, a flat adhesive mount, a curved adhesive mount, and a connector screw. On to performance, the Action's camera features a 12-megapixel sensor combined with an ultra-wide-angle lens. With its 148-degree field of view and an f2.8 aperture, so it competes with the Hero 7 Black head-on. And with its slightly larger 1300 mAh battery, it lasts that bit longer. In terms of video quality, the Osmo Action is right up there with the Hero 7. It is capable of shooting 4K videos at 60 frames per second with its image stabilization technology rock steady enabled. To conclude, the DJI's front-facing screen would be invaluable, or you're a vlogger looking for a simple-to-use 4K camera that's super tough to boot, the Osmo Action will thrill. Plus, with a lower price tag and the Osmo Action becomes a very enticing choice. At number 2 is the Sony Cybershot W800. The Sony Cybershot W800 is the cheapest digital camera available from Sony, and one of the cheapest digital cameras available from any main brand camera company. And featuring a 20 megapixel sensor and 5x optical zoom lens, is the camera worth considering as an ultra budget point and shoot camera? The W800 has a plastic body with a metal effect on the front. There's a plastic tripod socket underneath, and the camera takes a Sony lithium ion rechargeable battery. You'll also find the memory card slot next to the battery slot, and we used an SD card with the camera. In addition, the screen is 2.7 inch with a resolution of 230K dots. Electronic image stabilization is an option, and the camera weighs 125 grams with battery and memory card. Plus, it can use SD or Sony memory sticks, making it very light. Yeah. On to performance, it's all very functional, easy to use, and there are a reasonable number of controls for a basic point-and-shoot camera, with options to change ISO and white balance. There is a panoramic shooting mode as well as an easy mode should you need it. The camera's 5x optical zoom lens is equivalent to 26mm to 130mm, along with a 20 megapixel CCD sensor, which means high speed continuous shooting isn't likely to be very impressive, and the maximum resolution for video recording is 720p, 1280 by 720 pixels. Furthermore, there's face detection autofocus and a built in flash, so portraits and photos with flash should be better than some smartphones with just an LED light. The battery life is rated at 200 shots, which is average for a compact camera, and a spare battery is recommended if you want to have longer shots. To conclude, there are very few cameras available at such a low price point as the Sony Cybershot W800, and therefore it could make a good entry-level point-and-shoot vlogging or holiday camera for those on a tight budget. At number 1 is the Canon PowerShot G9X Mark II. The Canon G9X2 is the smallest and one of the cheapest cameras you can buy with a 1-inch sensor, making it very attractive as a high-performance vlogging travel camera. Design-wise, the big talking point with the G9X2 is its diminutive size. At 98 by 57.9 by 31.3 mm and just 206 grams ready to shoot, this is about as compact as compact cameras get. Despite the pared-down size of the G9X2, it still feels like a good quality product. Rubberized panels on the front and rear aid grip, although they're not particularly sculpted, so you'd be still wise to use a wrist strap to guarantee a secure hold. As for performance, the G9X2 is fast and responsive to use, with the touchscreen making it easy to select a focus point. Plus, the bigger 1-inch sensor in the G9X2 gives noticeably more fine detail, especially in low lights at sensitivities above ISO 800. Ramp up to ISO 3200 and the difference is clear. 
as the G9X2 produces detailed images with relatively low noise. On the top panel, you'll find a mode dial that gives access to manual and semi-automatic shooting modes, should you want to explore more creative photography. There's also a small pop-up flash. In addition, the built-in Wi-Fi, a must for a vlogging camera. You can use your Android or iOS device as a wireless remote, or transfer images from the camera to your phone for easy sharing on Facebook or Instagram. We must mention, one possible issue with the G9X2 is its relatively poor battery life of 235 shots per charge. It's not massively worse than the competition, but it'd be a good idea to have a spare battery handy if you intend to stray far from mains power. To conclude, the PowerShot G9X2 is proof less can be more. If you're in the market for a vlogging camera that's as compact as possible, that doesn't burst your wallet, then the G9X2 should be on your shortlist. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. If you do have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Catch you soon.